but it means he won't get those shields or anything else. He's just gonna hope he can actually get the damage across in team fights and heal up a little bit. Quick bounce is special. And a shot at Lot. Yeah, I mean, Malzahar against a melee support is always a really difficult matchup, but they go all in. Sneaky's one out away from the crit. He's gonna go for it with the exhaust. He doesn't wait it out. Sneaky could have gotten the kill if he waited out, but look at the dive. Contracts trying to trade back on a chaser. The kill still comes through to Keen. A bloody early game. Lod walking away safely enough. Sneaky can't get on him. In that lane, but kind of knew they were gonna be pushed in for most of the laning phase. They've done well not to die. Keen trying to get aggressive. This time it's a trade one by Jensen. He makes sure, I believe, to get the shield on during the trade. There's a flash chase. Woo! He wants the kill. A nice stun comes in and Chaser's in the mix. Oh, kick. There's the kill. Not even a problem. Asher are going to whiff. The shots from Jin. Chaser's got to block them. Getting around the mix. Flash. The flash Q. Impact catches and Rise is going to be there. How good's the engage going to be? It's great. That's the kill picked up. C9 finally on the board. It's a good chance they can take this one down. Lod's wave clear only so strong. And how threatening can that squad really be? A special ulti list. The hook's gonna land, they oh, Lod right away, and he is in the wrong spot for this one. Turret taking plenty of damage, Impact not even losing the health bar. First turret as well to Cloud9, and there we go. The expectations for this with the top team in North America. Let's see if the rotation comes in any farther. Impact's teleport is back up. I believe he used it earlier to be part of a fight, I could be wrong. Arrow's gonna land it. Just kidding, he's gonna flash away, but now a special wants in. Damage on a smoothie, but how much can they get? Was gonna flash away, saving his ult for now, gonna pop it, and someday gonna knock back two of the frontliners. Three man ulti keeps him durable for now. Sneaky's They're gotta run. Back. He's got four more shots, but Keen is on it. Somebody gets the kill credit. Back in the chaser, a stun on an impact, kicks him in. Not quite fun in the backliners, though, and Chaser actually delivers him an exit when he was trying to find a knockup to find someone else to kill. A blue trinket used by Cloud9 to see if the Baron Sneak was happening. It's not, but Impact is alone up here. He's gotta be careful. Chaser gonna get the kick, just it completely plays it right. The silence is there as well, and Impact. Not long for the world. Flashing away to buy some time because Cloud9's running it down the mid lane. Hoping to get everything they can on Impact. Just buying time as much as he possibly can. But he's got a very short lease on life. There's the pickup right there. One turret down. Jensen shoving out the bottom lane turret. That inside track meant nothing. C9 now back in action, looking for something to do. Waiting for the play as the team separates, looking for Keen. And how far will the team really go? Looking for the play, a big ultimate is on. They're all invincible. Someday has to kite right back out, but a big stun comes in. Looking for the kill. Guardian Angel pop, contracts low. Can they pick him off? No, not just yet. And they finally pop Guardian Angel. Keen gonna go down, Sneaky staying alive. Gets the shot up, picks up a second. Someday's gonna be next up, but Lot still alive in the back line. Life stealing it up, but gets caught out. And there's a double kill. More coming through, only a special left alive. C9 starting to run through it all. The question is, can Keen get damage out in a team fight without getting exhausted? Because this is going to come down, yeah. looks like, to a team fight. Maybe in front of a turret. Impact can ignore the damage of that pretty easily. He's real durable. In the late game Nautilus. Whoop! Almost a risk there, but doesn't take any damage. Right, just tanking up the turret. It's one important change between last season and this is the lasers are gone, so these tanks are much better at just walking into end games and forcing fights under these turrets. For a bit more damage. Look at that chunk coming in. They're gonna find the stun on the contracts, but they finish him off in time. No, they can't deal with it. Tarek turns him invulnerable, and that's one kill picked off. Someday's first chaser is gonna be next. The Koreans are falling in Cloud9, pushing him to the base. Awesome. Double kill for Jensen. That's them all dead. Lot is the last one standing, and he's not even that anymore. A triple kill for Jensen in Cloud9 will cement themselves in that first place tie. They will be two and zero as he leads impact almost to his suicide. <laughs> Why not send a couple minions in? Who even cares anymore? That's gonna be the game, the match in Cloud9 ending week one. First place with their former teammates of FlyQuest.